Hey guys and welcome back. Cowboy Cup action against Leicester City tonight. 18 years in the making. 2005 was the last time you cast up in a semi-final match. If we win tonight, that will happen again now. We've got to get past Leicester first. You saw it against Sheffield Wednesday. Anything can happen in the cup. We cannot underestimate Leicester tonight because it'll be the same result as it was on Saturday. So it's important on the pitch tonight. We get out there and we make sure. I'm hoping for a convincing win tonight. I've said it several times over the last couple of Carabao Cup games. Pouty Shaw would have a Crystal Palace. 1 0 over Bournemouth, but there was an own goal. I mean, yes, we did battle them, but it still wasn't convincing at all. Tonight, let's make sure we get out there and just make a statement. Just get out there and just destroy Leicester, hopefully. But anyway, guys, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, make sure you get down there. Hit that subscribe button. Plenty of Newcastle content, as always, every single match I would be at. And anyway, that's it for me. Without further ado, let's get into it. Come on, the mags. Hello, so I'm JJ Charles from TikTok. I've got over 700,000 followers over there and I do short form football content. So we're currently in Newcastle now inside a hotel room. Yeah. So what are we doing in a hotel room? And I... um, well, because I came from Bournemouth, I have to book a hotel in advance and we're in a Premier Inn, which I'm happy about because obviously no travel lodge this time. So I get that amazing Premier Inn buffet breakfast in the morning. So yeah, that's why I'm in a hotel. And if Newcastle win tonight, both of us were going on a night out. <laughs> so uh, let's make sure we get to the semi final. But close, man. how are you feeling for that game tonight? Um, I'm nervous because I saw our League Cup quarter final record on Sky Sports, and I think we lost like the last six or seven. So really pessimistic about that. Um, but I feel like we can get the job done because obviously it's like a new era now, um, and I trust the squad to get the job done. So I'm going to go with 2 1 tonight, and Botman and Nissak both to score. So, so you got the scarf on as well. So, yeah. War Flags and they have actually got a Bring Your Scarf campaign on, so it's to enhance the atmosphere for the game. So, yeah. Now, I know you're somebody that absolutely adores War Flags, so just tell us how is it feel having that scarf on the It's going to just be incredible because um, obviously Dan Byrne came out in the week, didn't he, and said about the, um, the testimonial game uh, with all the scarves and the atmosphere. So, it'll be amazing to recreate that because obviously I didn't get the opportunity to go to that game and I was like six, seven years old, so I don't really remember that, that, that well, event. Um, so we get to recreate it tonight and I'm just buzzing for it. I can't wait to get sweating. It's going to be absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? It's going to be amazing. Quite a big one we've got on his speculation a couple of days ago when he was back in the squad. Hi, my name's LJ. What do you think for the score today? I'm going 2 0, but if it doesn't go 2 0, I think it's going to go to Pens again. Oh, right. So let's stick with your 2 0 for now. Have you got any goal scores in mind? Hopefully, Isak and Almiron. I well, sure hope so. I, I can't be bothered for that apparently sure. So I'm hoping that the 2-0 is correct. My name's Mitchell. My name's Josh. What do you think for the score? 3-1. 3-1? Go. 4-0. 4-0? Nine. Who's gonna score this 4-0 then? I've seen Miggy 1, Bruno 2. Uh, Alright. Callum Wilson. And uh Jordan and Miggy. My name's Charlie, I think the score. Two one in Newcastle. A goal from Bruno and Callum Wilson. If it's playing, if not, it will be Bruno, Jordan, and, and it will be an easy win for the lads. Hi, I'm Peter. Hi, I'm Charlie. We're from Charlie Talks Football. Regular on the channel now. I mean, I, I remember asking us about the Bournemouth game, and we thankfully got past them. But what about Leicester? It's like quarter final now. After this, it's a two-legged semi-final. If we go through, what do we think for tonight's game? I think three nil. Isaac, Bruno, and Almiron. All right. I think it'll be 2 0, and I think it'll be Wilson and Miggy, but I think it'll be a different game than Boxing Day. I think it'll be far tougher. They've got injuries, but they'll be up for it, so I expect it'll be a close game. <laughs>
So I've just came out of Wonderbar now. Eddie Howe has stuck out his best 11 tonight against Leicester. Love that, by the way. He's learned from the Sheffield Wednesday game not to underestimate your opposition in the cup. Went full-fledged tonight against Leicester. He had to hopefully tear them apart. With that team on pit, we should be winning this game. So no excuses. Get in that pitch. Get the job done. Full time and the job is done. Full time here at St James's Park tonight. The Castinated 2, Leicester City 0. No. First semi final since 2005. We've done it. Get in there. We've done it. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzed about that one now. Well, going into the game, um, I was confident against Leicester. I actually did say 2 0 before the game, buddy, when I did say 2 0, I should have put a bet in it. But uh, so I, I mean, of the man. Leicester never had a sniff in that game, to be honest. I think they had little, little tinty spells where really. they should have scored. I think Vardy should have scored his chance after they went 2 0 down, but Newcastle were by far the better team that game by an actually country murders. No question about that one. Uh, first half, we talked about that first, so. Uh, the Castle had several chances, first 20 minutes or, and, uh, First 20 minutes or so, we should have scored, we should have had two or three to be honest. Obviously Longstaff had a big one at the start of the game, just hit it off the ground, it, it just went wild. Well. really scored that one. Hello. Uh, as well as that, we just continue to create chances. Uh, eventually, we had a couple on target. Oh, yeah. Tell hey, me, see you again. Good, 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 yeah, tell me, man, I'm not going to win me just yet. It's not the FA Cup, so the semi finals are two legs at both rounds. Hello there. Uh, it's not what actually a trip to Wembley. I wish it was, but. Oh, my! One game away, though. Well, sorry, one tie away with two matches, so. Fucking come on! Come on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it depends if we get them all, to be honest. As long as it's not Manchester City, if they beat Southampton. And who will tell the Wembley, son? Yes, yes that's right. <laughs> Yes, that's right. I did actually book a hotel at Wembley in the previous round. I've stuck by it. I think we will get to the final. It just depends on the title more, as I said before. There will be a Carabao Cup stream on the channel. I can't wait for that one. Semi-final cup draw. Wow. Thought that'd be a dream, but not, not a dream at all. It's reality. So, yeah, uh, the players should be proud of themselves. Over the wall. Trippy on match one shot. Wow, I'm jealous of that one. But uh, I mean, the team should be proud of themselves tonight. Oh, really went out there and just completely. Yeah! 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 Yeah, the players should be proud of themselves. Dan Burner, especially first goal for the club. I thought he was the man of the match today. Really good defensively and created quite a bit going oh, forward. And just when we needed someone to step up, we put a 1 0 up to make the game more comfortable. Dan Burner did an amazing finish by him. So, yeah, uh, big congratulations to him. Uh, eventually, Adam One puts Draw in through, puts a 2 0 up. Just an amazing goal. Both goals were fantastic tonight. And Vardy had a little spells after that to score, but I don't know. I'm hungry. Yes! Wasn't wasn't Yari Lavi? Yes. Dan Burr up the match. Wasn't wasn't the best game Dan Lad, but you know what I mean. Wins a winner now. Three points, wins a winner. No, that's not three points. Cup game, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. That's a drink. 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 That Hey, it was nice to see Dan Byrne get a goal, though, wasn't it? Oh, he deserves it. He's been fantastic since he joined some Absolutely, I've got it. Absolutely. Come yeah. on! But uh, now, for full team should, should have to take credit today. Everyone was fantastic. Got ourselves into the semi final. And depending on who we get tomorrow, could be an exciting one. So. Come on! Yeah, come on, hey. All right, all right. But yeah, everyone's in that drinking mood, everyone's in that happy mood, and yeah, it's just so it should be. Thank you so much. Uh. But yeah, apologies for the actors, but all over the place. I mean, as expected, everyone's getting excited. Up the tune. But yeah, about a month's time or so, we'll play. The first of two semi final games. It just depends who we get. I, I can only say yeah and tell you so much. It depends who we get tomorrow. As long as it's not Manchester City, I think it's realistic. Of course, Man U won 2 0 over Charlton in the end, which is it, as expected. I'm hoping Southampton somehow do it over City, but if not, we've got to be ready for whoever we play. But what fantastic result that is.